Well, the domain name is the first thing that many people will see about you. So it's very important that just like when you pick the company's name, you want it to be indicative of what you do, uh, kind of aspirational. Tell, in a way, start telling your story and make a very good first impression. It's a bit like when you do dating and you pick the picture that, um, that is going to describe you best. best right? Um, ultimately, in the end, you need to, to be a nice guy to get the date, but it's also important to get them to... Um, to kind of pick you and that's a good way to get to make an amazing first impression. Particularly in the last few years with the advent of all these new extensions, there is so much choice that people have available and I understand that can feel like overwhelming. So in a way you feel, oh, there's too much, so I'll just go and, and do what I used to do with, with the genetic extensions. But I always tell people that you should really look at the opportunity. There is a, there is a lot of extensions that are very descriptive for specific verticals. There are all the geo TLDs, so if you're a cool cafe in Berlin, a dot Berlin could be a good extension to use. So the opportunity with new extension is also the fact that they allow you to highlight some of the things you do, right? We uh, launched .cloud very recently, and part of the launch was also a pioneer program, uh, where we had a number of important companies also in the cloud space, and startups and, and other people using the cloud domain name. And it's a very cheap marketing investment if you want, but it allows you to kind of highlight and, and, and bring focus to a specific part of, of, of your offering. So um, it's something that everybody should consider uh, as part of a broader marketing plan.